hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing great today in this video we are going to talk about the l of the solid principles we have talked about the s and o already in our previous videos so if you have not seen them do watch them i will add the link in the description so today we are going to talk about the l or the list cause substitution principle <laughs> So list cost substitution principle, what does this state? It simply states that, that the objects of a superclass should be easily replaceable with the objects of its subclass. Now what does this mean? So this simply means suppose that there is a base class and there are some derived classes from that base class. Now these base class should only be doing whatever or supporting whatever their superclass is doing. So that these are easily replaceable. Now you have to do something which uh, in this derived class which was not present in the base class or you don't want to do something which was present in your super class and you don't want to do in this class so we will see this with the help of an example uh, so let's just dive into the example straight away so uh, let's suppose this there is a class called i payment instrument and it has these functions validate run fraud check collect payment these are all virtual functions so this is an abstract class now we have different types of cards. Suppose we have a debit card and we have a credit card. So it will simply implement these functions. And these cards both would have these kind of functions like validate because validation is required, fraud check because it is also required, collect payment is also required. That's the basic thing of what a card does. Now what's wrong with this code? Now suppose in future a new type of card is introduced which is called rewards card. Now with this rewards card, we don't want to introduce the fraud check because fraud check we just wanted in the credit and debit card rewards card anyone can use. So how do we implement like using this I payment instrument? Why, how would we implement the rewards class? So what we would do, we would create a rewards class from this I payment inter instrument and we would have to keep this method run fraud check as empty. So this method won't be doing anything. So as it sounds like it doesn't seem like a good code like why are we keeping some function empty why do we have to declare it so there is something wrong with our design that we should see in this so what's the remedy of this the remedy of this would be like let's remove the run fraud check function directly from the i payment instrument itself and just keep the most important things which is the validate and the collect payment things now these are required in all the cards, credit card, rewards card, debit card, any other card that is introduced in the future. Now using this, we can declare all the other type of things, but this also has an issue. Now credit card and debit card both had a run fraud check function. Now that function we would have to introduce in both of them, but and they would have a kind of a similar structure, but there is no relation to each other like they are not related they are kind of the same type of i payment instrument but they are not related so how do we solve this so we derive another abstract class from this called the base card the base card the base card would have another function called a fraud checker which we want in our debit card and credit card and now what we can do we can extend this base card to create the credit card and debit card now these follow the same type of structure we can easily now see from this base class which they are following. Now when we have to add the rewards card now we don't need to actually uh, extend this base card we can directly uh, extend the I payment instrument. Now the, uh, this I payment instrument does not have fraud check it does have it just has the validate and collect payment. Now in future suppose there is some other kind of card also introduced which requires some other kinds of function. So then we can uh, introduce those functions in another base class and maybe divide, derive some more cards of that type from it. So this is basically list cost substitution principle. This simply means that now suppose you want to declare create an object and you want to create an object of I payment instrument. And what you do is you do I payment instrument instrument equal to new rewards card. So you should be able to do this and this should not have any extra code which is not required. 
now similarly when you want to de declare a credit card or a debit card what you would do you would simply create base card equal to new debit card and yours done you can easily substitute your base class with the derived classes without any extra functions so that's what this course substitution principle does and i hope you like this video if you did press the like button in the next video we will discuss the i see you in the next one